Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today you join me in a very hot kitchen because it is extremely muggy outside. So apologies for the fact that I'm actually sweating. Today I thought I would go over some top tips for anyone with celiac disease on how to eliminate cross-contamination. And we're gonna start with breakfast because let's face it, most important meal of the day. And also there's loads of hurdles along the way which a lot of people with celiac disease when they're new to it might find confusing. So I thought I'd break it down in a couple of videos, meal by meal, and today we're gonna go for toast and jam because that is my preferred very quick breakfast of choice. So I'm just gonna go over some top tips on how to eliminate the cross-contamination risk when you're making toast and jam. So let's go. First up, you want to make sure that you've got a clean work surface which doesn't have the enemy, crumbs. Before you put that bread down, you might wanna hold up Open the drawer, get the antibacterial wipe, and give that worktop a good scrub. When you have celiac disease, even if you're using gluten-free food, you have to be really careful because just one crumb could make you ill, so it's important that all your work surfaces are clean before you start even preparing food. And the same goes for chopping boards and knives. If you're using one that someone's used before, make sure you give it a really good scrub before you put your gluten-free food on it. Using normal washing up liquid is absolutely fine, or a dishwasher, you don't need to go out and buy your own chopping board and knives, you just need to make sure that what you use is really clean. And then there's the bane of all our celiac lives, the toaster. It is a harbour for crumbs, so you need to be careful that you don't put your bread straight in there if you haven't got your own toaster. However, there is a way around it, buy some toaster bags. These are super handy, you literally can buy them anywhere like Wilkinson's, Lakeland, you pop your bread in, pop them in the toaster just like normal and then toast away. Once your bread is toasted, it's time to add some butter. But butter is another place where crumbs are often lurking, so it's really important that you're careful when it comes to cross-contamination. Now the way I get around this is by having my very own butter dish or tub where I keep my own butter and only gluten-free stuff is allowed to touch it so no one's allowed to double dip their knives in, which means that I get butter that I can spread on my toast and I know it's safe each time. And the final stumbling block is jam. Make sure instead of everybody dipping their knives in that you have a dedicated spoon so that there'll be no crumbs in your jam either. And those are my five top tips for how to have a cross-contamination free breakfast. I hope you guys found them helpful and if you like them and want to see more tips like this, then please hit subscribe and let me know in the comments.